here at the Action Martial Arts Hall of Honors. We're here with the legend, the man, the myth. Art Camacho, <laughs> how you doing, brother? How you doing, man? Good, good, so good man. to be here. Man. Oh man, good to have you here. Such an honor. Uh, you know, you and I go back, I mean, about a decade or so, man. But I'm only 21. He's okay, only 21. He only was 21. Let me star. let me clean that up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know, for our viewers, you know, that may not know the face, sure, but they know the work, man. Right. You've been involved in, in martial arts since you were young. Yeah. You've been involved in the in the film business. Doing, you, you're one of the pioneers in, in, in the fight choreography game because you were there before it was even there. Right, right, right. You know, you, you worked know, with the likes of Steven Seagal, and yeah. the whole list goes on and on and on. Very blessed, very blessed. Because, you know, when I started out, there was uh, stunt coordinators, and there are still stunt coordinators, but they're the ones that used to choreograph all the fights. Right. And when the, uh, in the mid 90s, when I was starting to get my, you know, my career going, they started doing more of these kickboxing type films. Right. And so they had to get more specialized in the fight action. And I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I'd been doing a lot of martial arts training with my Sifu Eric Lee, Master Eric Lee. And he's and here today as well. Yes. Great human being, great teacher, great martial artist. And the true story, one night he called me out of the blue and he says, Art, 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 in his Chinese accent, yeah. I can't do. <laughs> he says, Art, Art, you want to get your butt kicked for 50 bucks? So I thought I'd have to pay him 50 bucks. Right, so I right. said, cool, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> It turns out he wanted me to do a stunt for, for a film called Ring of Fire, right. and I did it, and to me, it just felt so natural. I had no training in stunt fighting, right. but it felt very natural because I've been doing that since I was a kid. Right, right. And I did it so well that, uh, that the, you know, uh, more films came after that, right. and more and more. And then eventually, after 20-something 20, 20 films, I had producers asking me if I wanted to choreograph. And I didn't understand what you know, really what choreography was, I thought it was, you know, dancing. I thought, okay, well, cha-cha yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And, um, and so first I was a little hesitant, but you know what, I did it. I said, great, let's do it. And very blessed because I understood camera. That was, that, to me, that's the most important thing in choreography. You have to understand that it is realistically, and in serious speaking, it is dance, mm -hmm. music, rhythm in your mind, yeah. and camera. And, and, and for those that don't understand, you can be a great martial artist. I guarantee you can be the best <laughs> fighter in the world. You get on camera, unless you know about fight choreography, you will not look well. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and that's what happened in the uh, late 90s. Uh, everybody, there was such a high demand for these films, everybody and their mother started producing and writing these films, mm -hmm. and the bottom dropped out because it just was a lot of bad films. Right. And so, again, like everything else, the cream rises to the top and the strong survive, and that's what happened. We had to really get better, make better movies, mm -hmm. and that's where, you know, I've been very blessed. That's when I made, started making the transition to directing, because I remember, I think it was um, 1994, actually, when I had two producers one year ask me if I wanted to direct films. And at first, I thought they were just, you know, messing with right, me. I right, thought, right. you know, but they were serious. I remember, in particular, I was shooting on a, sh shooting on a set one day, and this producer came up to me and says, Art, you want to? I thought he was messing with me. So I said, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Right, sure. right. Yeah, just like that. Right. A week later, I'm in his office sitting there. He gives me a deposit. And I walk out a director. <laughs> I was a film director. It's, Go, it's interesting to have things just happen, just happen. Yeah, well, you know, part of it, part of it, I, number one, I, I'm a very strong believer in the Lord. And I'm yeah. very blessed to be alive and be here and be yeah. with great people. But number two, I think you create the opportunities without knowing. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's out of my hands. It's like, you know, the tra they say, say it, sometimes the train has left the station. Yeah. And once you're going, you're creating these opportunities. You're yeah. creating them. And because and, I always give 200%. Right. Even when I was working, one of my uh, best friends, and I, I admired him greatly, Don the Dragon Wilson. Yes, yeah, Don Wilson. <laughs> I've directed him in four features, choreographed 25 of his films. And this individual, Don is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He is a gem, no He's doubt about incredible. it. He's incredible. And with him, when I started choreographing for him, I really got more into the kicks and the punches, but his persona. I wanted to really create a persona for Don. Because to me, the ultimate, the highest standard in my life in terms of martial arts is Bruce Lee. Yep. Bruce Lee, I mean, to me, without Bruce Lee, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Honestly. Because with him, it was... Beyond martial arts, he knew how to take and, and, and make a film because he was he was making these films. Right. You know, he knew how to deal with the fight scenes. He knew how to make 
something look that good. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and you've done the same. Well, we've been trying, and I'm, I'm, I always hold him to the highest. You know, Bruce Lee is there on the pedestal to me right, right. as a martial artist, as an on-screen person, mm -hmm. and all the charisma. Because one of my biggest influences before I got into martial arts that got me into martial arts was two things that happened in my life. One, I was getting into gangs, into drugs, and one night, out of my own stupidity, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Six gangbangers jumped me. I mean, I got 11 stitches. I got stitches everywhere. Right. And, and so that really messed with my mind. Right. That's when somebody, you know, when you're, I mean, really, really, really brutalized. You can taste your own blood, you can smell it, you can see it. And at that you know. point, it becomes a choice. Yes. And what you want to do. Absolutely. You want to be involved in that lifestyle, be a victim, or be just be in that lifestyle, or do you want something more? Absolutely. You chose Absolutely. something more. Yeah, I chose something more, right. and, and it, it, well, actually, it chose me. Right. My father, out of the blue, we, uh, we were, uh, we were going to go out to see a movie, and he says, hey, you want to see this, this, this Chinese connection thing? Right. And I didn't. I, I wasn't into Hong Kong films or anything, but, but we went. And that night, I kid you not, I sat there, and, and it was in one of the L.A. theaters in downtown L.A., kind of abandoned because this was like, you know, reruns. This was the, the time where you saw the two-for-one type of film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. There's probably like eight people in the theater, and I'm sitting there, and I, my first Bruce Lee film was Chinese Connection. Yep. And I kid you not, I saw, and my jaw just dropped. That film spoke to me that film reached out to me and that guy i, I didn't know it was bruce lee right. i thought chen chen or whatever his name right, was right that guy i wanted to be that guy right and afterwards i became obsessed i started training then i became obsessed i was i, I mean i think i've seen enter the dragon for instance i stopped counting at number 70. right i used to see it in the theaters but you know, even to this day you can sit and watch the film and get lost in it absolutely because it's timeless absolutely timeless. and that's the thing about bruce lee is that he transcends time as a martial yeah. artist he was i mean i've talked to so many professional fighters i'm talking about you really you know from don wilson benny yes. a lot of these guys and even they tell me bruce lee was 20 30 years ahead of his time yeah he was doing mixed martial arts in 73. Yeah. and i and yeah. i think just to, 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 to end on the topic of bruce yeah. lee with that is that his death at a young age oh, made man. him immortal right 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 because had he aged right he would have lost some of the some something absolutely would have lost in translation well in death he became a legend yeah you know yeah. in life he was one of the greatest if not the greatest contemporary yeah. martial artists of our time and the most influential to this day i mean I, I have young kids and to this day they know bruce lee not because of me but because it's him right he's an icon he's an icon he's an icon he's yeah. an iconic figure today yeah and then his, his daughter is actually reinventing and re-pushing -push, pushing stuff out now absolutely you know, with our friend Michael Matsuda yes at the museum and everything yes. so he has the martial arts history museum you got to go check it out if you're in LA um, and you know all this stuff is it's really good that people remember very important you have to and one thing and this is I don't know if this is the right forum but to me also the fact that I was born Latino and I am Latino and in the beginning, when I was very, very young, there was still some racism where I grew up. And it felt kind of embarrassed. That's why even my name is Art Camacho, because it used to be Arturo. Mm -hmm. And then when I, when I you know, turned 18, I, I shortened it up to Art. But I regret it now because I was somewhat embarrassed growing up. Because as a kid, you know, when people are putting you down because you're brown, it kind of messes with your mind. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing that drove me you know what, I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody. And then in do being somebody, I can show others the way. Because I used and to, I you still do. You inspire people. I like want you, to. The next generation, they, they see what you've done. They see what you're doing. And they get inspired by your actions. They react to it and they do greater things in their lives. And that, that's what you're doing. I, I'm hope, I, I want to. As a matter of fact, I used to go, and I still do. I go to churches, schools, give demonstrations, talks. Because growing up, my universe was my neighborhood. That right. was the whole world. And most of the people I grew up with, that's it. They live, born, and die there. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, right. But films and the martial arts, my universe became the world. Yep. I've been to India, uh, Berlin, England. I've been to so many countries. I've been to at least 20 states. Mm -hmm. 
all through martial arts. And the thing is, you're, you, you still are reinventing yourself because now you're going into a new phase in your Absolutely. career and your life. Absolutely. And we're going to hear more about it, not on this show right now, but as time goes on because art is raising the bar in entertainment and you're going to see some amazing things from from you man and and I, i'm honored to have you here oh, and god bless you brother you know we go way back and i wish you nothing but the best and you know you always have my support god bless thousand percent you. of the time thank you and okay. you got me you got art camacho your familia all of you yeah that's it and this is this is my brother here that's it thank so, you art. thank you oh but before before we sign off website site social media things of that nature. right now facebook because I had, I had three websites. I don't control them, so I just shut them all down. And Facebook is the best way to communicate with me. And please, feel free. Ask questions. And I try to get back to everybody. Mm -hmm. I get a lot, but I try to do my best. Mm -hmm. And please, God bless you all. And don't give up on your dreams. That's yeah. the thing. That's it. You heard it from the great Al Kamasha brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.